So you've been ghosted. So many of us have been ghosted. And I want to tell you a little secret. It's not about you. It's super common. And I know it's really painful, but let's talk about what actually happens with ghosting and why people do it right after the show reel. <laughs> okay, so let's say it straight. 34% of people get ghosted even before the first date when it comes to online dating. 26% after the first date and 22% after a couple of weeks. So what is going on with this whole online dating ghosting thing? But the most interesting thing also is what's happening for those of us that are getting ghosted by our friends, by people that we've known for a really long time. According to psych.com, 54% of people have ghosted a friend. And 49% of those people ghosted because they didn't want a confrontation when they ended the friendship. In other words, they were scared. They were trying to avoid an argument. They felt guilty. They felt like they might get judged or abused or hurt. And it's interesting. I posted a video about ghosting mm, about a year ago now. And I had this beautiful comment that someone put up. And this guy wrote, sometimes ghosting is a result of just feeling too depressed to talk. It just depends upon the person. Don't take it personally. Easier said than done. I've been there too. And a whole conversation started around this. People curious, will someone eventually come around? Someone else wrote, imagine being depressed yourself and having to not take it personally because your friend can't effectively communicate what they're going through. So do you see and hear the pain that's happening in people that have been ghosted and people that know that they've ghosted others? Someone else wrote that being down doesn't give you the right to make others feel the same by ignoring them when they reach out as a point of care. But all of this is about... I am taking the actions of someone else personally. So when you're ghosted, I implore you, don't take it personally. And I know that's hard because it hurts and it sucks. And we all want people to be like, hey, I care about you and I don't want to be friends anymore. In fact, I've had people say, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. And I'm like, who would say that? Why wouldn't you just let the friendship naturally drift apart? But see, isn't it interesting that when someone says, I don't want to be friends anymore, I take that personally. And if they just kind of drift away, I just go, oh, that's just one of the people I used to hang out with and I don't see them very often anymore. And maybe I'll call them every once in a while or text. And usually they might text or respond back. So maybe that's not quite the same as ghosting. But the relationship, every relationship has natural end. Every relationship. And remember, a relationship can last even for a moment. A few texts back and forth, a couple swipes on online dating, a quick coffee break, and then boom, they're gone. Or think about those friendships. Have you ever worked somewhere and you became really good friends with somebody in the office? And then when you moved away, you just kind of never saw each other again? Or maybe that happened when you were in school right? We become friends with people because of certain circumstances and then naturally the time shifts. So my point is when you're ghosted, I want you to really focus in sending yourself love and sending the other person love as well. There's a meditation called the Honopono meditation. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I hear it pronounced so many different ways. And this meditation is really nice. And there's a few variations, but it goes something along the lines of this. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And when you say this over and over again to yourself first, and then to the other person, it allows those energetic ties just to soften. 
It allows the pain to soften or try some tapping, some emotional freedom techniques. Just think about what it was like to have that friend as you tap and breathe and know that if they don't have the energy or the respect to hang out with you anymore or to connect or to even say goodbye, unfortunately, you're better off, right? Even though it's painful, it's time to let go. I want you to imagine now that when that person left your life, they created a little bit of a hole, which is why there's pain, but nature abhors a vacuum. So that hole is going to get filled in with someone that's going to be more loving, more caring, and able to support you in the way that you need. So trust that and remember that you are loved, you're loving, and you are lovable. Be well.